Hey everyone. So what we have for you in this video today is our uh, weekend trip out to Ohio. So we had a couple friends from town that were telling us about how great the hunting is out there. So they uh, they went out uh, last week and we ended up meeting meeting up with them uh, um, last weekend. So we got there. We essentially got there Friday morning. Did a little bit of scouting on some on some state land and essentially found a spot where nobody else was willing to go the, the hike was kind of crazy up there um, our colorado trip definitely definitely helped ease us into it made it a lot easier to to get up there in the morning but um, yeah we'll jump right into the footage um, i saw deer every every sit and actually the first afternoon sit getting there i didn't even get a chance to fully set up yet as i as i was watching a nice eight pointer you know doing some doing some chasing and he actually was underneath me. I was looking through the looking through the great. It's probably the nicest deer I saw out there. Um, there's the area was tore up with sign though. It was uh, it was a really really a great great hunt, fun experience, and we'll definitely be out there. I didn't even manage to get that eight on camera. I, like I said, I wasn't even set up. Didn't even have the uh, the GoPro on the bow or, or anything. But what I was doing just now is actually taking uh, testing the GoPro I have mounted on my bow because. There was some kind of software glitch or something you'll see in the video um, of the eight-pointer that I and or actually technically a seven because he broke off a broke off a brow. But the seven I ended up taking, you'll see that the video freezes, but you can still hear the sound. So whatever, man. It's just a it was great fun experience being up there. Um, we're gonna be in Connecticut this weekend, so yeah, I hope you enjoy, and we're gonna jump right into the footage. Right, so it's 7.30 on Sunday. We're hunting uh, the last day of our public land hunt in Ohio. I just hit a, a basket buck. 
they uh, came in pretty pretty quick. So that was about a half hour ago. So I'm just gonna get out and check. We're only allowed one, you know, one buck here. So I thought I heard a crash. The, when I was reviewing the GoPro footage, the camera froze just as a shot happened. So still had audio, but uh, yeah. So let's let's go check it out. We're here at where the shot was. You can see my tree stand. That tree, I was right there. He was here. So it looks like a good hit there in the arrow. It definitely looks like lung blood. The trail's not too bad. See him up ahead. All right, he's down. All right, so we got it, got it done. So he's definitely has the nice deer, good size. Where uh, we had about uh, two and a half days to hunt. So yeah, there's definitely, definitely Ohio is known for some some massive bucks, but. We've been hunting two and a half days and it was nice. We've been seeing deer, deer every day, but they're all been, been baskets. I think I might've saw one a little bigger than this, but all right, now the, now the work comes. I got to strip down out of, out of my elf. So I don't want to get this all, all stinky. So I go back down to the truck and get some of this stuff. Um, it's a, it's a nice, nice area. There's actually quite a bit of pressure in this in this piece. We saw like four four trucks parked here yesterday morning hunting. I mean, it's a decent area, but essentially I have a pretty pretty good climb every every morning. It's pretty pretty straight up, but it uh, I haven't seen anybody back here, so I think that's part of the reason I've been seeing seeing deer every day. And like I mentioned, if we were here for about you know a week or so, I probably. I probably would have taken that buck either way on, on on the last day, especially at $260 for a license. So we could definitely use the meat and uh, appreciate his sacrifice. I'm going to head back down to the truck and get out of all this insulated stuff and pack out a deer. Pro never usually does this justice as far as the, the climb, but yeah, you can see the you can see the drop. I'm looking straight ahead. And the first shelf. And that was that was my climb every morning and then every afternoon too so all right that's that's enough we're gonna get this taken care of and uh we'll pick you up later well as you can see we made it back home so the gopro battery died on the way up to grab the deer and uh <laughs> the spare batteries were at our hotel so we had to hurry up and you know get it cleaned up and get on our way, long drive home. So we made it home. We got the meat in this cooler that we're gonna be doing up and just roast and hamburger and sausage and uh, shells inside, cleaning up the, the Primo, the back straps and tenderloins. What time is it? 11.30. So all you single men out there, make sure you do your research before committing to forever. All right. We'll have some more videos coming for you. Probably do a video of us making the, the hamburger and sausage. I think Brian's gonna come over to help with that. So thanks for watching and we'll have some more hunting videos for you coming up if you, if you find interest. The rut's just about getting hot in Connecticut. So we'll catch you later.